What's up guys, I'm back. This is gonna be a very interesting episode um, just because of what's going to happen. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna walk you through it as I go. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, like the video, share it if you want. Uh, I don't even know what I'm about to get myself into, but let's see what I got. So here I have two empty cages. Now usually, when you see an empty cage in my kitchen, it means something is going to go in there for quarantine. So, yesterday myself and Chandler picked up some new snakes. So I'm gonna unbox this box right here on the table for you guys. As you see, it's a very, very big box. I have a big hand. That is only a corner of it. So, that means there's either something really big in there or multiple of something. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this right now. Yeah, I know what's in it, but it makes it more fun for you guys if I don't tell you what's in it and I show you guys. One latch. Oh, three big bags. You hear that? You listen, listen very carefully. Well, you know one or two of the things are rattlesnakes just because it's me and I just love rattlesnakes. So, I'm gonna somehow figure out how to put this on the tripod so you guys can enjoy this. Um, I got two snakes that are going in the same cage and another snake that's going to go in a different cage. These guys are going to be in quarantine for about six weeks. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's do this. All right, so bag number one. This is the one that's rattling right now. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to close that up for right now. Put him right there. Now they are zip tied, Florida state law means that all venomous snakes when traveling have to be double backed. So all three of these snakes are in two bags. So, out of one bag to the, nut, the other. Oh, we're getting close. I can hear him. Actually, I'm going to lay that on there. Now I'm doing this so the snake cannot pass there until I remove that. So again, cutting the zip tie off, boom. Now that is a possibly free snake. my new Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. He is a beauty, absolute beauty, high at <laughs> High yellow, uh, really excited about this. Um, I will probably eventually breed him with my pet albino Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hook him up and put him in the new enclosure. Oh, you're a biter, huh? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys know, I will tame this snake down because that is what I am very good at is taming down rattlesnakes. As you see, I'm using a very long hook. I don't know these snakes. Usually you see me use a short hook in most of my videos, but again, do not know these snakes, so I'm not using a little hook. A little underweight, but that's okay. He will be nice and fed here at my house. In you go. No, no. In you go. In you go. All right. One snake down, two to go. All right, 
so snake number two. Got this guy big out. Put that lid down. Again, the snake is double bagged. I know that because I was there. So I'm going to take that zip tie off. The snake is free. I do have both the zip ties off. Yes, the hook is still over it, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here so you guys can possibly see that thing in a better light because this one is also another pretty one. So now basically what I'm gonna do, same thing I did with the last one, grab the corner of it, make sure the snake is not there. Oh, oh look at her. Now this is Chandler's new big Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Look at that thing. Look at that snake. Beautiful. Its tail is very, very light in color. You very rarely see that in Eastern. So that's a good four foot snake right there. Easily, easily. So I'm going to go ahead and put her away now. All right. Now, these two being Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes, a male and a female, they can be housed together, but it's only because I am out of cages right now. This weekend, I'm actually going to pick up another cage so I can separate them so I don't have any feeding issues or anything like that. These guys are native here to Florida. Um, both of these snakes, I believe, came from Florida just because of the coloration, um, but right now they're going to get housed together, and again, I will separate them. Um, they both are very big rattlesnakes and they deserve to have their each or they each deserve to have their own cage So this weekend I'm going to pick up another cage again and I will separate them probably in the next video You guys do see of them But they are also going to be in quarantine for a total of six weeks to keep them safe Make sure they don't have any parasites or anything like that that I have to treat things like that, but they're both very beautiful um, I love mine definitely Chandler. I know loves his but I do have one more snake left just one and this one blows these two out of the water. Okay, so apparently my phone is dying and it didn't record that first half, but here this snake is. This snake is a gabino. These snakes are beautiful. You've heard us talk about them before. Uh, it is a cross between a rhino viper and a gaboon viper. Very beautiful. Now this again is a hybrid, but this naturally happens in the wild. These snakes pass, do cross, um, and they will occasionally mate, and these hybrids can be found out in the wild, all right? They are beautiful, beautiful. This one is actually a Congo version, and he's gone again. Okay, we're good. I caught him. He's on the chair. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put him up because he is a little squirmy. Come here, buddy. Woo! Look at that snake. So beautiful. All right, so this top cage is for him. That was not fun. I'm sweating right now, it's a little warm in here. My kitchen usually is warm in here because I have no AC in here. But they're both in their cages, they're secure. Uh, that is definitely one snake I do not want to get bit by because they also have huge fangs. They are a part of the Bittus family, puff adders, things like that. Um, but yeah, super excited about these two snakes. Uh, gonna go get some rats tonight and try and feed them. Hopefully it goes well, you never know. They are new to us, they're not used to us, but I wanna get some food, especially in that skinnier Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Um, just so, so excited about all of this. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, like, subscribe. A little upset that last video didn't record because my phone's apparently dying, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.